Be it resolved that Belize should invest in its military and institute obligatory military service among its young people given the threats to our borders. You can begin. So affirmative. Be it resolved that Belize should invest in its military and institute obligatory military service amongst its young people, given the threats to its borders. We all know that our jewel, Belize, is blessed with a vast greatness of flora, fauna, archaeology, and natural wonders. It is no wonder that Guatemala has for decades felt the urge to claim Belize as its own. The International Institute of Strategic Studies in 2012 states that Belize and Guatemalan territorial dispute is an unresolved by national territorial dispute between the two states since 1940. Investing in our military and instituting an obligatory military service will assist our young people to become more patriotic as they will learn to take ownership of their country and put the love of their country first and foremost. In addition, through this service, many young people will gain an honest employment and do something productive with themselves. The military service will assist in giving those who serve positive and gainful employment for their years of service. Their years in the military will help them to gain skills, training, and education that they can take with them even after their service to become a more productive member of society. We will bring to light that obligatory military service can and will help to better protect Belize whose sovereignty as a nation is continued to be violated. Deliberations will be introduced as to why it is of vital concern for Belize to invest in its military and why the implementation of obligatory military service is of necessity. For the fact that Guatemalans are very persistent in continuing to engage in illegal activities in our crown jewel, it is a must for Belizeans and the government to see that it is important to act now on improving the military force and to also see why it is urgent to put pen to paper and institute mandatory military service amongst Belize's young people, given the threats from Guatemala's to Belize's borders. Ecumenical Junior College, your opening statement, two minutes. Wait, wait, wait. We don't Negative. By way of introduction, I am Perla Martinez, along with my colleagues Harold Woolery and Kenroy Lee here. Resolve. Belize should not increase investment in its military, nor institute obligatory military service among its young people. Our national anthem opens with, O land of the free by the Carib Sea. But how truly free will we be if our government decides to implement obligatory military service, known in military terms as conscription? On July 9th of 2004, Joseph B. Purcell writes for the Chicago Tribune in his article titled, Involuntary Defense. Conscription has no place in a free society. Any community that cannot acquire the service of enough volunteers to defend it in time of need, but must instead resort to coercion in order to force its citizens into a condition of involuntary servitude does not deserve to exist. If we need conscription to preserve our liberty, then we are not really free. A truly democratic community should draw its defenders from a wellspring of free citizens, not a cesspool of slaves. It leads us to question, why would Belize go forward with an undertaking such as this? Can our little nation afford this quote-unquote investment? Do the incidents at our border warrant military response? The answer to these questions is no. We do not afford it. We do not afford to put our nation's young people, economy, or future at risk. My colleagues and I will substantiate that investing in conscription will be costly and not economically feasible for Belize. We will demonstrate how the occurrences at our border do not warrant military response and establish how disrupting Take off your mic, thank you. Okay, you've heard opening statements from both sides. Now is, now is the point where the argument begins. Your argument should be presented in support of the position that you take in your opening statement. I will then now ask Independence Junior College, or I'll just say IJC and EJC, I will ask IJC 
to now present their first argument and they have three minutes in which to do so. Of negative side, remember you're supposed to be listening to the argument because your response should be in, it should be related to what is presented in the first argument. You will have two minutes to prepare your response and two minutes to present your response. IJC. My worthy opponents, Belize should institute mandatory military service among its young people due to the fact that the situation at the border is getting out of control and our 1900 soldiers need support. The Belize Territorial Volunteers leader, Mr. Will Mejia, has been working towards trying to show Belizeans the importance of demarcating its borders. The group, though its various efforts at the Sarsoon, has shown some of the actions of Guatemalans taken against our Belizeans within our borders. Our Belizean bowlers hold a threat from Guatemala and we cannot deny this. With time, we have become more comfortable as Belizeans in believing that we have made peace with our neighbors. But very recently, Guatemalan new president, Mr. Jimmy Morales, has awakened all of our senses to make us understand that Guatemala is not our friend. In his book, A History of Belize in 13 Chapters, Asad Showman points out that Guatemala has made attempts to invade us before and there is possibility it might try again. In 1972, it was reported that Guatemala planned to invade Belize and in turn Mexico in 1975 reported that if that happened, it would invade the northern part to preserve its right over the territory. Guatemala continues to bully Belize and we have the proof to show you how urgent it is that we must increase our military presence at our borders. The Guatemala newspaper, the Guardian newspaper, sorry, February 11, 2015, Guatemalans continue to encroach into Belizean territory. News 5, August 17, 2015, Guatemalan military attempts to thwart Belize volunteers' mission in Belize waters. The reporter, January 22, 2016, Guatemalans still fishing in Belize. BDF soldiers face off armed Guatemalan mob in Caracol, the Amandala, October 7, 2014. These are only a few examples of the bully Guatemala is. Secondly, conscription into the military will help our young people to build a true sense of patriotism. In a personal communication with Lance Corporal Samuel Reeds of the Volunteer Battalion on February 15, 2016, he stated that the force changes an individual no matter how bad the situation is. Young people will leave the force with high self-discipline, be well-mannered, skilled, and functional. In a letter to the editor of the Amandala newspaper entitled Remembering Recommendation No. 29 of 2000, Caroline Trent Standiford, a member of the Political Reform Commission in 2000, expresses the need for Belize to become militarized. She also suggested for there to be a constitutional amendment to provide for mandatory military service for every Belizean because it is her belief that each citizen of this country should be constitutionally required to give a period of mandatory service to the Belize Defense Force. At this point, Belizeans do not see. Thank you. You now have. Yes, go ahead. If you want to applause, it's okay. Okay, now you heard the first argument at EJC. You now have two minutes to prepare a response. After the first two minutes are up, you will hear the bell, which means that you should, you will then have your two minutes to present your response. 